Exercise 2. In this exercise, we create our first SQC chart. And the exercise is to create an X bar chart. Uh, we'd like you to start process book, create a new display, uh, build an SQC trend, and take a look at these and see if you can do this, uh, these steps uh, before I show you the solution. Uh, go ahead and pause the video now if you'd like to go ahead and try these. You're going to be building an SQC chart. Uh, just a basic X bar chart using stationary one as a tag. Go ahead and see if you can do it first and then pause the video and then I'll continue and demonstrate. Okay, if you're ready to go, let me go ahead and uh, open up Process Book. This is a copy of Pi Process Book. And what I'm going to do is a brand new display in Process Book. And on this display, I'll make this a little bit bigger. On this display, I'm going to add an SQC chart. So I'll click on the SQC tab. Now this is an add-in to Process Book. If you don't have that appear there, then you must not have the add-in installed. And I'm going to give this a tag called Stationary1. Now I know the name of that tag. I can just type it in there. But if I didn't know the name, I could simply go out and choose Tag Search and search for all the tags that begins with, begin with the letters STA. And as you can see, I find all of those tags, and I'll choose this one right here. These are those tags that were part of the setup for that you'll see on page two of your exercises book. Now, I wanted to create a chart that was an X bar chart, so I'll go ahead and switch this over from a chart of individuals to an X bar chart. And I'll go ahead and click on OK. And the end result is it's not a very uh, well con configured SQC chart, but the end result is an SQC chart that now is ready to be uh, to be worked with and reconfigured if you decide you'd like different interval of time or different sample size, etc.